guys, Shanine here from Bows and Mosey Cake Studio and today I'm going to show you how I made my sugar glitter eyes with no fancy moulds or isomalt required. Here they are in the flesh, wish they translated better on screen but hey. You may have seen the amazing Liz from Sugar Geek Show do her version with isomalt and moulds but I was in a pinch and wanted to replicate so I just made this up as I went. This is what you'll need just for the eye section alone. Now what I'm doing is taking my fondant and giving it a good massage and adding some tylose to that. So I've added about a half to one teaspoon to 50 grams of fondant and you want it to set really firmly so be generous. Now I've got my kitchen scale because I'm weighing up each eyeball. I don't want wonky eyes. So I ended up with 25 grams per eye. Now I'm going to take my one and a half tablespoon measure and grease it really liberally like lots and lots of cooking spray. I'm rolling my fondant into a ball making sure there's no cracks or crevices in it and now I'm going to squash it very firmly into that mold. It'll try to slip away from you but be patient. Now watch this part. Slip. So easy because I was liberal with the greasing so that's why you have to do that. I'm taking a circle cutter. I recommend a large circle cutter for the pupil. You want a big pupil for the um, final look and just making a slight indent. So I've let my eyes dry for about 24 hours and now I'm getting all the stuff ready to paint and glitterize them. Sorry that the list goes by so quickly guys. Okay, so now I've taken my gel colour and I am mixing that with some alcohol to a watercolour sort of consistency and a giant mess. As you can see, I'm good at that. And I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. Don't be too precious about it. We're going to paint the centre black anyway. Now I'm adding my black gel colour for the pupil and some alcohol to that. And I'm using that circle cutter that we, uh, the guide that we made there, as my guide for painting the pupil on. Now, what you might see here is that I've actually used a bit too much alcohol, therefore my colour is a little translucent. But I'll fix that up in a moment. Using that circle cutter line as a guide once again, and I haven't added quite as much alcohol this time, so it's a lot more opaque. That's better. Do the same on my first eye to darken that up a little bit. And there you go, ready for glitterizing. Okay, to put the glitter on, I just paint around the outside very quickly again to give it a bit of something to adhere to. Put that circle cutter, the same circle cutter, back onto the pupil so that we don't get glitter flying into the black. And just go around with the glitter of your choice. I've used a blue and a hologram silver to give it a bit of an extra pop. I've got a edible shine spray and I'm just giving that a quick coat, adding a sneaky bit more glitter. Now onto the sugar syrup. I'm using my sugar pot, which is the pot I use for all my sugar work, as you can see by the beautiful food dye stains on the bottom. I'm adding to that one cup of water, a half a cup of glucose or corn syrup, either work depending on where you are in the world and what's more easily accessible to you and one and three quarter cups of white sugar also an eighth of a teaspoon just a pinch of cream of tartar mix that all up and now we're going to pop it over onto high heat on the stove now what you want to do is make sure that you stir this from beginning to end and that's about 10 to 15 minutes to get it to hard crack stage. I know with a lot of sugar work they say not to as you'll cause crystallization but with this we don't want caramelization so it's constant stirring. There are the temperatures for hard crack stage in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. Now what I've done with my eyes is I've popped them on some shot glasses. I've let them sit and dry for about an hour and a half and I've taken my sugar syrup that I've let cool for about five minutes after cooking and I am pouring it directly over the eyes, two coats each so that they're nice and shiny. 
to take them off the glasses I'm just using a blade and I'm heating it up in my brulee torch and it pops off very easily after just going around the edge like that now what I want to do is just tidy up those edges a little bit so I'm taking my knife again back into the brulee torch blade and just pressing lightly around the edges which is slightly out of shot I apologize to tidy up I torch them again very light hand here you can burn the sugar so go easy but it does give them a beautiful shine and there you go my glitter sugar eyes no ice malt no molds are they as good as Liz's probably not but when you're in a pinch they're very effective and they certainly work and I can't wait to use them on my next project thanks so much guys for joining me again don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye